Hi everyone, I'm Theodore Dumaluan. I practice ENT and I'm here to show you how to make a do-it-yourself nasal wash and how to do it properly. To give you a background, let me state that all infections of the body results from failure of the innate immune system. Innate immunity is God's given shield which we have been enjoying since birth and that's what we are trying to enhance. Our primary defense against respiratory infections is in the nose by way of mucus clearance. Mucus clearance functions simply by flushing out trapped airborne particles that includes virus to prevent them from influencing or invading body tissues. Ang atong gi promote is the spray wash, not the irrigation because it's very convenient and gentle, easy to apply on a daily basis as part of daily hygiene, and it's adaptable to all ages and it's generally safe. The wash is local in application, so it is not to be taken systemically, so it is not to be swallowed or to be um, inhaled into the lungs, and it has to be flushed out through the nose, and the post-nasal mucus strip has to be spit out. The components of the wash have studies to support their safety and efficacy, but the combination of saline, iodine, and ZCO or CITCO is novel and is within safe levels. To prepare your nasal wash, you need any of these commercially available saline sprays. They come in 30 ml. You would only need one. You would need the betadine antiseptic, 10% povidone iodine, and I is put it in a smaller bottle for easy application. And you also need uh, virgin coconut oil. And I also put it in a smaller bottle for again easy application. You need iodized salt for your saline solution and boiled water 350 ml to this will be your stock solution for your refill. To prepare your stock solution of hypertonic saline, just add one teaspoon or roughly nine grams of iodized salt into the sterile water and mix. To refill your empty bottle, nasal spray bottle, first you open it and then you add 5 drops of betadine before you add your saline solution. Now you fill it up with your saline solution halfway, make sure they are mixed. You mix it first before you add your coconut oil. That's uh, 2 ml if you have a dropper that would be good if that would be easy if you have drops you, you need 30 drops One zero. Thirty drops would be 2 ml so. And then you fill it up to the neck area And now you're ready for your wash. Easy. Why we combine saline, iodine, and VCO? The hypertonic saline has a decongestive effect and you will notice that after the wash, you will feel that your, your nasal passage would open up. The iodine has a very uh, strong antiseptic property. It takes uh, 15 seconds of contact time especially with the virus, that's why we would apply 15 uh, pops in each nostril so as to assure us of 15 seconds of contact time. And the uh, VCO is a very good um, mucosal tissue conditioner. It enhances nasal function, the mucosal tissue function, and it also has some mucolytic effect. And it also has an antiviral and antibacterial property. So, to apply this first, you have to shake it to mix the oil. So, you have to bend forward and then when you get this inside, just the tip, just a few milliliters inside your nose so don't push it too deep so you won't injure your nose. And then you make sure you have to tilt forward so 
you won't be pushing it directly to the back. So this is just a nasal wash. So we will let it stay in the nose and then we uh, blow it off. So because this is just a wash. So till forward, one session, one round is five puffs. So to do it this way. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, and then gently blow. That's one round. You did the second round. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, five. And for the final round. So, what you will notice is that during the flush, you would feel your nasal cavity being rinsed out. And a few minutes later, you will feel the mucus dripping at the back. So that would be the mucus clearance. That's where most of the trap contaminants are being held or discharged. So you just have to spit it out when you notice or when you feel that it's dripping back to your nose. So, hope this helps. But of course, you have to do and respect the other measures that's being recommended like uh, face wash, uh, face mask and hand washing and please do add nasal washing to your daily hygiene because if we do it on a daily basis and if everybody would do it we will have a dilution effect so that the virus or any um, infectious agent will uh, be prevented from spreading in the community.